So this is a surprise, I take it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so these lovely people have decided that you needed to meet my friend. So I'm going to get him out. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it goes. The ugly cry. There it is. Move the hand. It's coming to us. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you had us, huh? You didn't have a clip? If okay. everyone could just be real quiet yes. for a little while, I appreciate it. well aware the difference between the two toed and the three toed slots aside from the number of toes three toes are three in the front three in the back two toes are two in the front three in the back is that the two toed slots can move their toes independently of each other the three toed slots are fused so they can't so like I said this is Winchester and he is uh, from Costa Rica he's two and a half years old he weighs 20 pounds he's full grown but I'd like to see him gain a little bit more weight. The vet likes him to be a little bit under rather than a little bit over, but I like to, I'd like to see him gain at least another pound or two. Yeah. His favorite things are eating and sleeping. <laughs> now it looks like he's about ready to take a nap. <laughs> yeah. So you can see that he has really short hair under here, really long hair on the back and on his legs, and that's, that's in order to wick water away from him because everything that he does is upside down. So they sleep upside down, they eat upside down, they mate upside down, they give birth upside down. Everything that they do is upside down. So he spends a lot of time in that position, which is why he's not super comfortable. This ain't gonna freak him out, is it? What's that? This won't freak No, that's not gonna freak him out. Um, they spend a lot of time in that position, and uh, 
That's why they're not as comfortable as being, you know, being held. Mm -hmm. But we're very careful to listen to what he wants. Um, he's not trained. We don't give him food as a reward. We don't take food away from him as a punishment. We don't give out any punishments. We don't give out any rewards. Um, he's a wild animal, and so we just try to respect his autonomy. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of controversy over these sloth encounters because they say that it stresses the sloth out, but as you can see, he's about ready to go to sleep, so he is not stressed out right now. Yeah. And uh, as soon as he tells us that he doesn't want to be held anymore, then we don't let people hold him anymore. And sometimes that takes three seconds, and sometimes it's longer, but we're just very respectful of that as well. Well, of course. No, yeah. is he yours? He's not mine. He is, uh, belongs to an organization called Friends of the Wild, which is a nonprofit, and um, we do uh, educational encounters with people and with schools and other organizations. Try to educate people about the rainforest, the deforestation of the rainforest, climate change, and the dwindling habitat of the sloth. One of the things that mm. sloths are not an endangered species as a, as a whole. The pygmy sloth, the pygmy three-toed sloth, is endangered on the endangered species list. Other sloths are not. There's about seven different kinds of three-toed sloths, and there's two different kinds of two-toed sloths. The Linnaeus two-toed sloth and the Hoffman two-toed sloth. And he is a uh, Hoffman, or excuse me, a Linnaeus two-toed sloth. Hey, you guys can get a better angle on the shot of him because I keep getting a cage in front of him. And the, so you guys, uh, do you guys uh, do other, uh, have other animals as we well? We have other animals as well, yeah. We have uh, tanaracs, which are kind of an African hedgehog. Okay. And we have um, a boa constrictor, and uh, we also have a uh, um, blue and gold macaw. Um, and we uh, take these animals to schools, and we do educational um, encounters with people in, in schools and try to educate oh, cool. people about the deforestation of the rainforest and um, about the dwindling habitats of these animals and right. how we can protect them. You hear that, guys? So the link will be posted down below, and we'll put it also, we'll put the direct link on the, uh, and all their information on the uh, bottom of the screen in a minute, and then we'll put it down in the descriptions. He's kind of like a cat. Yeah. He's actually the nearest, the closest relatives to the sloth are the um, giant anteater and the armadillo. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're descendants of the giant brown sloth, and they, those were like five tons, like 13 meters tall. They're as big as an Asian elephant. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, they're 33,000 years old. Do they realize that they're that slow, or do they really think they're going fast? So the interesting thing about sloths is that um, the slowness of them is actually something that they choose to do. So when he wants to move fast, he can move very fast. Um, not very fast, but certainly a lot faster, faster. Than, than you've probably seen a sloth move before. Um, they, um, all of this, the slowness, is an adaptation um, to be able to survive on a diet of these leaves that they eat in the wild, which are, have very low calories, very low nutrition content. So their, their digestive systems are very, very complicated. And um, to aid in that digestion, they move very slowly and they move very seldomly and they sleep a lot. And that helps aid that digestion. Also, the heat of the rainforest actually helps with the digestion. If the heat becomes goes down too much, their food won't digest properly in their stomachs and they can actually starve to death even though they're eating a, a lot of food or enough food um, because their bodies won't break down that food in their stomach. It also takes him about 30 days to digest food so it stays in his stomach for about 30 days. So this food that he's eating now, he won't excrete that for another month. Oh, wow. Yeah. Or to get every little bit out of it. Get every, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Run every calorie, every nutrient, every drop of water out of that. What's their biggest enemy? Like, what are so they, they have a lot of predators in the wild. They have um, the ocelot, which is a big cat. They have the jaguar, which is another big cat. Um, boa constrictors. And also uh, harpy eagle. Harpy eagle is a... Very I don't know if you're familiar, it's a very, very large bird um, with a six foot wingspan and uh, can actually pluck them right out of the top of the canopies. Oh. Yeah.
Yeah, so not only do we do the paranormal, we're also a family channel, obviously. So, um. <laughs> okay, so here's a couple of reasons why sloths do not make good pets. And this sloth is not a pet. It doesn't, doesn't belong to a person. It's not a pet. It, and here's why. Okay, so one, um, they're incredibly expensive. Uh, they're anywhere between twelve and $18,000 to purchase. Um, you have to be very careful when you purchase them that you're purchasing them from a reputable source. And there's very few actual reputable sources of slots. Um, the other reason is that they have very specific requirements for a healthy life. So he has to live in a, in a habitat that is 85 degrees Fahrenheit and that is 45 to 55% humidity. So he has, lives in a very hot, very humid environment. Um, he has, a, has to have a license from the USDA. That's very costly. The USDA has to come out and inspect his habitat on a regular basis. They don't, yeah. come, they don't tell you in advance when they're coming, they just show up and they need to have access to the sloth and all of his records. He has to have a, a special vet. You can't just take him to your local neighborhood vet. Um, there's very few of those vets in the entire country that are authorized to, um, by the USDA to uh, administer care to a sloth. Just walking in the door to that vet before we do anything else is $1,000 wow. every time we walk in the front door. Wow. Um, so it's, he has um, some very specific requirements that do not make for a good pet. And um, really the reason that we have Winchester is to help educate people about sloths and about the rainforest. And you know we're doing something aside from just our own benefit. We're trying to educate other people and try to save as many sloths as we can. So they don't make good pets. <laughs> you hear that guys? So don't think that you could just go out and, and, and buy a sloth just to uh, just for your enjoyment. I mean that's these are really cool animals and if you guys want to try this experience, experience um, uh, Nisa's always wanted to uh, encounter a sloth and look I can't even get her to look at the <laughs> camera because she just can't take her eyes off them but. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, like I said, the link will be down at the bottom. Uh, we'll flash it a few times on the video as well. Um, come check them out. You know, all you got to do is just call them up and uh, they'll set up an appointment for you right here, right here in Vegas. Or they really want to overwhelm him. What did it feel like? Like, what was it like? It was like, so it's, it was like holding a child. Like, I would say like a three-year-old? No, two-year-old. It was like holding a two-year-old, oh, but three covered in Brillo pads. Yeah, it's... His fur is very, 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 like, itchy and wiry. But that's because, like, so that the water and everything doesn't stick on them, so they don't stay wet. It, it was... It was it was great. And then he just kept moving backwards. I thought he was going to fall. That was... I know his head. He was looking at us while you were holding him. It was so adorable. I know. I know, they got a picture of it. How cute is that? Look at how happy Nisa looks. She looks freaking, like, she looks like she's about to. Can't even tell in, like, words how excited she was. Like, she, she ugly cried, guys. <laughs> yeah, the reaction would have been worse if he didn't tell me to calm down. Yeah. We got, we got the reaction, though. We got him. <laughs> Why are you covering your face with a phone, dude? <laughs> Don't look at me. It was great. I cried. I, I cried because of what I knew it meant to her. And I'm glad we were able to do that for her. Why are you crying? Because that meant a lot to Nisa. Yeah, I wanted to meet a sloth forever. This is my favorite animal. That'd be like Daddy meeting Emmett Smith. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Daddy would cry. Daddy or like you meeting works. Five Sauce. That's what the this no that would be me meeting Shane Dawson or or Ga Nando meeting Spider Man. Oh my god! Yeah, that's what this or like Preston plays. 